welcome to Wimbledon Week um, at Truly Mandy Kids. We're celebrating by doing some baking and today we're going to be making cake pops which are balls of cake on a stick. Um, there is something called tennis cake which we found out was a big boring fruit cake so we're going to go for maximum excitement and bake something really difficult. Um, I've got two glamorous assistants, Grace and Lily, and um, here's what you need to make the cake pops. You need cake, any type of cake will do, we're going for chocolate. You need a pot of frosting, and we got ours from the local supermarket, but you could just make some buttercream icing. You need some cake sticks, like paddle pop sticks or lolly sticks. You need some chocolate to melt with food colouring, or you can buy special chocolate called Candy Melts, which we ordered um, from a company called planetbake.co.uk. And you also need some uh, white icing, either an icing pan or a piping bag with a really small nozzle to decorate them. Let's get started with taking the cake and crumbling it up in a bowl using your fingers. You can okay. start crumbling. Uh, 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 All we need to do is crumble. <laughs> That's it. Until then we'll... That's it. You can just break it up with your fingers. Put oh, some down. That's break it. it out. Gently, gentle, gently break it up. Or you can just crumble it like this. That's it. But I, you could crumble it like rubber. That's it. Nice and fine. Okay, now once you've got your crumbs all done like that, they should be nice and fine and it really doesn't take very long at all. And then we decided we would need a bigger bowl because it's time to mix it with the chocolate frosting. Who's got the frosting? Me, can I... Do you want to do this? No. Could you pass me the honey? Okay. No, can I do can that? Can I do Hang on. I just want to do the messy bit. <laughs> okay. So, we've just used one whole tub of frosting and one kind of loaf cake is uh, about right. So, let's get this out. Okay, it's messy, it's messy, it's fine. You're going to get really messy during the next bit and that's okay. Can I lick this one? You can lick this one. <laughs> Come on, frosting. Anybody want to do the messy bit? Nothing. No? Okay. So, you can make a spoon. You just have to dive in with your hands. Or you have to use the blender. No, you couldn't use the blender. This is a one for using your hands. And you just mush it all together. It's the oh, pan. Wow. For a while it feels like it's not going to all come together and it's still a bit crummy. But if you keep going, it kind of turns into dough and you can tell it's ready because you can roll it and squash it together and you can make it. It's mixed together, it's time to make it into the balls. So what you're kind of looking for is a little bit smaller than a golf ball and you can do one, yeah. Once you roll it, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to actually put this in the freezer and you can kind of roll it when it's a bit harder later to make them perfect. So do you want to do one? Not too much. Not too much. A bit more? Maybe a bit more. Is it? Okay. Roll it. It's like Play-Doh. Is it like Play-Doh? Yeah. Okay, do you want to do one? No. Okay, pop it on the tray. And we've got them out and we rolled them around so they were really smooth and perfect just like tennis balls and now we're going to put the sticks in them so uh, you get a little bit of we melted a little bit of the candy melt chocolate stuff get a little bit on the end of the stick because it's going to be like the glue that's it and just poke it in to about halfway through not all the way through that's it perfect and then we're going to put that on the tray oh yeah you should be able to get them in the tray if you put them sideways do you only want a tiny bit? That's it, just a tiny Maybe bit. This. Yeah, it's perfect. It's going to be like the glue. You can, yeah. So you just get half real like meatballs. <laughs> frozen meatballs. They are like frozen meatballs. Do you think that's far enough in? Oh, looks good, Lou. Perfect. Well, why not? <laughs> 
then put them in the freezer. Oh, let's see. Okay, we're back and it's time for the decorating part, which is the really fun part. I've got no assistants left, they've all gone and left me, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to do this on my own, but that's okay because it is quite tricky. So, our cake pops have been in the freezer now for about an hour and the thing is, the colder they are, the better your chocolate coating is going to set quickly. So we've got our melted green chocolate melts. We found the secret here is to not do too much swirling. Just dip, get it out and let the excess run off. It takes a little while. It'll all kind of come down to the bottom. I think that's okay, that's a good thing. And then we have found to speed things up a little bit, because the coating is really thick, if you just take the finger and you trim off the bottom, it just kind of takes off any excess that might drip down and neatens the whole thing up. And then, you know, if I was a professional, I would have one of those polystyrene things to pop this in, but I don't. I have a glass, which is cool. And I'm just going to pop that in the glass. Here we go. To dry. Okay, we're done. They're finished. Yay! They were really hard. Okay, we decorated ours with some white icing to look like lines, but it was really, really tricky. So they don't look quite as brilliant. I hope they would, but hey. We did it. We've got a fluffy one, we've got one with lines. So I hope everybody has a brilliant Wimbledon week. If you would like to see us make something else, we will have a go. Just leave us a comment. Go and leave a comment on the blog, trulymadlykids.co.uk and we will see you soon. Bye!